Dollar Store. I'm in Dollar Tree and I'm looking in the fall section. They have like this pretty like pumpkin platter. Um, they also have like little things like Harvest Wishes, Hello October, which is really cute. These owls are cute. I'm definitely going to get one of those. And they come in three different colors. They have these aisles. I'm saying owls. <laughs> just owls. <laughs> Um, they also have these signs. I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me. I have a mask on because it's mandatory in stores. But they also have this pumpkin sign that says thankful and blessed. That's cute to put on your door. Especially if you have a house, you can kind of decorate your porch or whatnot. Um, it's kind of messy in here. Give thanks. They have this berry garland, which I am going to purchase. They have some ribbon which I'm also going to purchase and they come in different kinds, gold and stuff. They have mesh. I might purchase this as well. I can do some stuff with the mesh. Moving on. Oh, they have stuff that kids can paint. I'm definitely going to pick that up. They have some little pumpkins. I'm going to get those. And I love this, you can put this in your yard. It says friends gather here, it's like a yardstick. That's cute. And they have these clips on maple leaves. That's also pretty. Here are some more signs, what does it say? Happy harvest, thank you. That's pretty, they have these boxes down here. Well, I'm definitely getting this. This is the mesh tube. I know exactly what I can do with this. I think I can like put it around the base to give it more like a hay fall vibe. There's some more signs. Family, friends, football. I might pick that up for the yard. putting out Christmas buns, the cranberry, and there is the pumpkin up there. These berry picks, how cute are they? Fall leaves. Oh, dropping stuff. <laughs> I have this corn, I'm definitely gonna get this. Hopefully I can find another one. And I have these little signs. Oh, I hope I can find like my letter monogram pumpkin. These are cute. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. Look at these little fall bowls with the leaves. Regular plates, mugs. These are like regular plates. Oh, these are not all. This is pretty. Someone chipped this one, but it's a pretty design. There's some more fall flowers. Definitely gonna pick up lots of these. Oh, how cute. They have the fall oven mitts. Definitely gonna get one of these. Silver, gold, just not fall related. But if you have a child that is starting school, they have a first day of school sign. A 
cute. And I love these gold frames for fall. That's pretty. They have the gold glitter. I wouldn't get the glitter because the glitter's gonna go everywhere, but definitely may purchase this one for sure. These gather glasses. Hi everybody, welcome back to Clutch Your Closet CYC. I'm your girl, Elmar Key in Paris. And if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you so much for your continuous support. I appreciate you more than you know. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new because I know you're gonna love the CYC content and I'm always doing a fashion video, lifestyle video. And I know you're gonna love it. So go ahead, I'll give you time, I'll wait. <laughs> Thank you. So today's video is a lifestyle video. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how I incorporated the fall season into my space that I'm currently at most of the time. Um, I did subtle things and it was very budget friendly. It's all from Dollar Tree, but I also want to share with you a couple of fall soaps that you can get from Bath & Body Works to put in your bathroom to also elevate your space. I haven't done my bathroom decor for fall yet, but I have done, um, my living room area, my entryway, and also my bar cart and my bookshelf. I'll show you guys those things today and hopefully you will like them. Um, it's a couple things that are repurposed, but majority of the items are strictly from the Dollar Tree. And the Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game this year. Most of the time you can find those cheap flimsy signs and they're kind of cheesy. But this year they have a lot of ceramic items for fall. They have a lot of candles and um, floral decor. So definitely don't be afraid to check out the Dollar Tree. Even if it's cheap, you can make it look expensive. You can just add your own little touch to it and it will work out. So um, without further ado, let me share with you the soaps that I brought from Bath & Body Works for the fall season. Um, the first one is Blackberries and Basil hand soap. So I think you guys should pick that up. Of course, it smells like what it says, Blackberries and Basil. <laughs> I love it. Um, you can smell more of the Blackberry than the Basil. So that's why I got it. I think it's the perfect scent for fall because you think about Blackberries and Basil and... Um, it's a lovely scent so this will be in my bathroom the one that I just finished in my bathroom was also a fall scent and as you guys can see I am so ready for fall because <laughs> that's my favorite season so I was just buying up all the fall stuff and I recently just got a coupon so I'm going back probably this Labor Day weekend to get some more stuff um but the one that I just used up is called afternoon apple picking and it was a foam soap um, it smelled really good. It smelled like apples. So definitely um, get your hands on this one if you haven't tried it. And the last one is more so for Halloween. It's called Galfriend. Um, it smells really good despite the packaging. Yeah, it smells really good. It smells like, it smells fruity. So I don't know why it smells fruity. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. Yeah. It smells really good so that's the packaging for it i'll probably put this one out not in september it'll probably be like an october type um of course so because it has all this stuff on it for october but yes yeah, so definitely go check out bath and body works for some fall scents fall candles and all that jazz but without further ado let me show you what i've done to elevate my space and i'm going to explain it to you and I, of course all the items were for a dollar so i don't have to tell you that they were for a dollar <laughs> but um hopefully you guys like this like i said it's very subtle changes i don't go completely all out like some people for fall um, I do plan on getting some pillow covers for these two pillows or maybe the one behind me um, just to say like hello fall or something like that to give the couch more of a fall vibe but other than that um, <laughs> that's pretty much going to be it. So let me stop rambling and just show you guys. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Okay guys so these are my entryway mirrors there you guys have seen this before but these are my side lamps and then I did a DIY sign I've had this chalkboard sign since my birthday um, for my taco party and I repurpose it every year this actually came from Target in the five dollar section I'm sure you can't find it now because it's so old but I just wrote hello fall in a chalk pen um I thought that was cute 
and so this is like my centerpiece for my entryway and by the way this is like a six cube cubicle type situation so um this is the flowers that i did like the floor decor um these rocks of course are from dollar tree this coaster i set it on is from ikea and this right here is something i already had in my home but you could see where i decorated with the stones from dollar tree and then they had these cute little picks like cranberries and berry picks i thought that was cute i just tied some ribbon this is repurposed from my best friend's bridal shower and i added a pumpkin they have these like tie on pumpkins this year so i thought that was cute to add to the base and then i just rearranged the different flowers so as you can see they have all different types of florals these right here the hydrangeas did not come from the dollar tree they're repurposed but all the other flowers are from the dollar tree how beautiful is this color and this just screams fall and i just got all these flowers in different shades of orange and yellow and then they had of course, like pine cones and little sticks and frilly things. I don't know what you call these, but all of these scream fall. And I got these gold feathers to go with the mirrors in my entryway that I showed you in the beginning. So you can see like right here is the outline of the mirror. And I painted that by the way, but I got that to go with that. So here's the look of that. So if you back up and there's a picture of the kids there and then i have the two lamps the hello fall um if you're looking for a tray like this that is sitting on that came from target five dollar section i thought about painting it white but since um the core of the apartment is like gold grays neutrals i decided to keep the wood because this was already dark so i was just like let me just keep a light wood so moving on um you have a cube here of course you have cubes and this right here the sign came from dollar tree it says welcome to our home i thought this was like pretty um this charger plate came from the dollar store as well it's like a red charger plate i used that in one of my videos before it was like um date night at home or one of my blog posts if you haven't checked out my blog go to it i have a date night in i think it was a fall date night in and i used this plate uh, my blog is clutchercloset.co so go check that out um, it was from last year, I think. So the corn came from Dollar Tree. They had these little corns. Um, the pumpkin, of course, came from Dollar Tree. This dish bowl is my grandmother's. And I just filled it up with the rest of the pebbles that I had left over from the vase. And I just put some hand sanitizer there. So when people walk in, they can have hand sanitizer. Um, it's nothing really in this cube. I just have like a broken candle. And um, eventually I'm gonna use these pumpkin sticks that I got from the Dollar Tree coffee stairs because I want to do a coffee tea bar. I'm in my grandmother's vase. You guys should remember this DIY vase that I just wrapped string around. It's getting kind of tacky now, but actually belonged to my grandmother. Camouflaged it and put it at the very bottom so you guys can see that. It's just a regular picture of my boyfriend and I with two elephants. And that's pretty much it. And the last cube is just filled with like storage stuff. But that's the entryway. So if you back up, you can kind of see. Oh, you can see my stuff in there. You can, our games are in that last bin, guys. You can kind of see like how it looks um, when you back up. Sorry if you guys hear the lawnmower. They're out mowing grass today. But I love how the floor arrangement came out i think that's my favorite it's just this floor arrangement okay so for the television stand um on top of it i just wanted to do a little fall like decor so i got this ribbon from dollar tree and i used it as a runner entire entertainment system it's really cute acorn uh candles at dollar tree and i just tied some ribbon around it um this is a candle that is my own but they have also these little wires of like they look like little berries i don't know what they are like twisted them and intertwined them between the pumpkins and stuff this is just some sage i was burning it's not supposed to be there um they have these cute little pumpkins at dollar tree this is actually i use this as coasters or some type of riser this is from bath and body works it's the candle top so you guys can use that to set stuff on don't be afraid to repurpose the candle tops it's worth it and i forgot when it came out with the marble collection being the top but i use them as coasters and if not as coasters i use them in decor 
um they also have these fall candles which i love um i forgot the actual scent of this one but it comes with a leaf and it has that twine string so i think that's really pretty and there are the stick on pumpkins that i had on the base before it comes with a pack of four actually so i was able to use three here um and look how beautiful that ribbon is it's actually ribbon like i said that i use as a liner but it has little fall leaves on it and the leaves are so vibrant also they have these little candle holders tea light candle holders in the shape of a leaf um they come in this brown color this orange color i think they have blue but i just wanted to have two brown and one orange same thing on the other side so you have another acorn candle um another candle like the gray one in a different scent and this is just another pumpkin it's actually it for the entertainment center but i wanted to show you guys this i didn't put it in my kitchen yet but this was actually like a kitchen towel drying towel whatever you want to use it for um it had fall leaves on it so i said i would just in acorns i said i would just add it to like my kitchen stove as like the drying towel just to incorporate fall into the kitchen so yes pick this up it's a dollar it's worth it gives you great fall vibes but moving on to the bar um i also did a floor arrangement here you guys have seen this in my bar cart video the lemons and the oranges which i kept because it is still a bar pumpkin on it and then i used the rest of the berries from um the previous floor arrangement to stick inside of here so it comes two in a pack for those and then you can just see the oranges peeking through and then i had leftover hydrangeas so i just put them on the side like that but it's really pretty and actually um this is a decanter it came from ikea but i just took the top off and just put the flowers in also um for fall my best friend gave me this mug it's an elephant mug i thought the copper tones went with fall so i kept it here on the bar I have this little orange tray on the bar as well. This is sitting on a cake stand and the cake stand came from Target in the $5 section. These little solar LED lights and they have like little leaves on them so I just use them to decorate the bar. And I will insert what they look like at night so you can get a vibe of how pretty they actually are. So the second roll of the bar is pretty standard as you can see i've been using this so i just washed this um today so that's why it looks like that but it just says autumn blessings you can get that sign from the dollar tree as well and the second row is pretty standard um it looks like you know it pretty much was in my old bar cart video if you haven't watched that video on how i put this bar cart together please do so i will link it in this video somewhere and then the last row doesn't have any fall decor so i'm not going to really show that but it's just mainly games and ice cube trays and wine openers and other decanters down there moving on to the bookshelf that's again for the people outside they're doing like the blowing um using the blower because they cut the grass but hopefully you guys can hear me give this video a thumbs down because i know that it's loud but um i didn't incorporate a lot of fall items on my bookshelf i kind of wanted to keep it as simple as possible but um this first row I tried to go with like fall color theme books. So um, you guys have seen like the first row. It's normally like the Toni Morrison, Maya Angelou. I put my Barack Obama book here and this glittery um, book is my like calendar agenda. And then it just says the trust, um, the little trust sign. It's a scripture, Proverbs 3, five through six. And here you have um, the acorn candle. It's in like a dark blue. You can't really tell, it looks black and that's why I brought it. But um, I put it in the corner along with another tall candle from Dollar Tree. And I have what was on the entertainment center, little acorn candle. So that's the first row. Moving on to the second row, um, I had to kind of camouflage some things in here. It's like some photos and some toys in here. So um, this basket, of course, baskets always go with fall because it makes it look like hay. I mean, you know, the color of hay and stuff. So that's why another reason why I have these baskets here. And then I have one of those little corns here. Um, this is a number three that we had on our bar cart. I just put it on the bookshelf to basically hold my essential oil 
bowls back here this is like a fall um room spray it is called harmony it's from target and it has bergamot and it promotes balance so you could just spray it anytime i have our podcast blues and bubbly the sign i made for our bar cart in the back because it's like gold and black and it gives fall vibes so if you haven't checked out our podcast with MJ and I relationship podcast, please do. Um, we need more followers. I know the trust episode is <laughs> the most listened to episode, but please listen to all of them. It's really great. I will have it linked below and make sure you guys subscribe and just listen to all the episodes. Okay, I got sidetracked. Moving on <laughs> to the third shelf, I have um, the Bible here, the pocket wife, which my cousin gave me. I have my echo dot here. And then I'm currently reading Mariah Carey's book called The Meaning of Mariah Carey. I'm a huge Mariah Carey fan. Her cover gave me fall vibes. So I was like, yes, let's display her. Um, this little owl came from Dollar Tree along with um, the pumpkin that I showed you guys on the um, cube, six cube organizer in the beginning of this video. Yeah, they had owls too, little owls. So I decided to get one, display it there. Um, I created another floral arrangement for the bookshelf. This little um, wraparound twine came from Dollar Tree as well. I just, it was a long string. I just wrapped it around the vase um, that I already had. And most of all these flowers came from Dollar Tree, especially the one with like the acorn, the sunflower, like the gourd, all of that came from Dollar Tree. The roses are my own, they're repurposed from another floor arrangement but all the rest of them are strictly fall so yeah i'm just turning it around so you guys can see how it looks see that one came with a pumpkin and it's one bunch of flowers let me just take it out flowers come in bunches and it's easy to just put in a vase and carry on <laughs> so um yeah i probably should have brought floor foam but I feel like because it's on a bookshelf, like no one's gonna touch it. Um, once I wrap that string around the vase, I kind of just tied it in a bow. So that's that. And then the next shelf, we don't really have any fall decor. That's actually from Easter and that's why it's on the shelf. It's kind of hidden back there, but I do have this basket and I thought that gave me fall vibes, um, but that's been there. So that's it. And the last row is kind of like non-existent, <laughs> but um, yeah, so that is the whole entire bookshelf. And let me give you one last look at it. 